royal news now. And over the weekend, the world was left shocked by the Princess of Wales' cancer diagnosis. In a personal message to the public, she ended months of speculation about her health and intrusions into her family's privacy. Kate's revelation marks an unprecedented openness about the health of our most senior royals, both the King and the future Queen suffering with the same disease. But it comes alongside a strong request for privacy now for the Princess, not least for the sake of her young family. We're delighted to be joined now by Charlotte Griffiths, editor at large. We found uh, the mail on Sunday. Charlotte, um, for me, uh, without doing it, Friday was one of those moments when I look back and think, where was I when I heard it? Mm. Um, uh, lots of conspiracy theorists, lots of people rowing back. If we go and we're very honest about it, it started with that photo. But now, surely, these idiots, these vile trolls that are saying it's AI-generated, something needs to be done about these people. It is beyond a joke now. This woman has cancer, has three young kids, waited till the Easter holidays, has gone to Norfolk. Can we please leave this woman alone? But her dignity, I have to say, shone through. She was so dignified and she was so clever to do it on, on the last day of the school term. Yeah, she was. And she decided two weeks ago that she wanted to do it. So can you imagine that agonising wait, seeing oh. the trolls, seeing the conspiracies getting bigger and bigger and bigger, knowing that she didn't, for the sake of her children, she could not release the information any sooner than that Friday, which is a really dignified thing to do because she could have thought, OK, well, we've told the kids now, let's just, let's just end this horrible speculation online and release the video or record the video earlier. But she stuck to her guns. She really put her children first. Yeah. And as for the trolls that are still going, I mean, their claims are so uh, bizarre now. I'd prosecute, that, I prosecute, I You know, I just... The thing that... You, the idea that it's AI-generated and the claim that sort of her wisp of hair moved in a fate. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's not... People what have more really do you have got, to do? Exactly. Have got cancer, for God's sake. People have really got themselves riled up. I mean, a few people even messaged me on Twitter saying that I'd fallen for the, the uh. great palace lie and conspiracy. I think no, it, it you talked speaks... about the fact. I talked about it the weekend. No, 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 you no, talked felt... about the photo. You you said you didn't like her being bullied. I will absolutely support you on that. You. you said 100% that photo's not right. And actually, in hindsight, if we're all honest, if they hadn't done this photo, but yeah. maybe it had to come out. But now, listen, there isn't anybody with any credibility who doesn't do anything but leave this poor woman alone. I'm sick and tired of hearing about, oh, we bully this and we bully that. This woman has cancer. Leave it, seriously. Totally. And, and William has this huge phobia of the paparazzi, OK? Because in, in the bygone era, it was cameras on motorbikes chasing Diana. But with, but with Kate, you know, there isn't that anymore. But there is lunatics online and in their billions, not in their hundreds or tens like in the 90s. You know, there's billions of people obsessing over her. And they've just got to, they've just got to stop doing it now because the whole point of they that... They won't, though, will they, Charlotte? Well, I mean, the other thing she could do is not look at social media. But, I mean, sadly, we know that before her statement, she was she was aware of all the rumours, whereas Meghan and Harry say, don't they? They say, oh, we never look at Twitter. They claim they never look at Twitter. But, but Kate actually does. That's the really sad thing. So my only hope for her is that she just stops looking at any social media, literally has her phone taken away from her, has a nice Easter break. I said this earlier, um, and, and I'm not jumping in, and I had cancer 10 years ago, preemptive, a pre whatever. Preemptive. Um, chemotherapy is 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 basically um, a process before the cancer has spread through the lymph nodes I know that that's a right. that's a medical fact mm -hmm. so I thought it was quite a, a positive thing from I mean taking it by pill or by intravenous drip horrible chemotherapy some mm. people lose their hair some people lose their skin horrible being poisoned to, to, in, in mm. effect but I, I, I quite thought it was quite a positive thing I think basically they'd found it probably yeah. removed it and were making sure that it hadn't spread. I think I that that's was what the, it means it yeah. hasn't spread and there's yeah. hope and she and she did say I'll make I'll I'll come through this. She was pretty adamant about this. You know, I will be okay. So let's hope they've caught Imagine it early. That conversation you've had a daughter now. I, I... with children. That's yeah, the of saddest course. thing about this is she didn't want to tell her children. Yeah. Or, or or at least not this way. And I've got a friend who has had cancer and has never told her children. Wow. And you know, and the thing, the thought that she might, she may, she may well have had no intention of telling her kids at any point, but she had to because of how the world works, and it's that's really sad for mm -hmm. her, I think. What do you think about the bond between Charles and Catherine? Mm -hmm. I think it's been quite lovely, actually. Obviously, under yeah. horrendous circumstances, for them to share this common diagnosis and obviously position in the how public good eye. That picture on it's the front such of a layer. lovely photograph yeah, of the two of so them. It was nice. obviously taken it was at the James Bond premiere a few years ago. It's really but lovely. But I think the bond with them is going to be even stronger to have sort of trauma bonded in this way. 
Totally. I mean, imagine going through this, these things at the same, exactly the same time in the same hospital. And one report today said he toddled out in his backless gown <laughs> to see him. I doubt to see her. I, I doubt so, the backless yeah, gown. I thought, I sort of thought maybe that's a little bit exaggerated, but the word toddled, you know, gives this image of him. Of course, a narrative. visitor, Mark. It's the king. It's the king. It's the king, in his it's the king and his bottom, I suppose. No, I don't, <laughs> I think, I'm sure he was covered up, but this idea that uh, he's this sort of kindly, grandfatherly, father-in-law yeah. type figure in her life and a really strong support. It's so sweet, really. It's I, nice. I, I said to, to, to Nick this morning before we came on air, if you're a royalist, and I unashamedly am, you cannot overemphasise the seismic change for a commoner... I know she was... You know what I'm saying? To mar it, in, and I think she is the future of the monarchy, and I mm. think the outpouring absolutely verifies that fact. And, and I think people should get behind her. Well, I know they are behind her. She's, some people used to joke she's more regal than the Queen, which I think <laughs> is probably a bit unfair on our late Queen. But she is. She's so regal. She's so poised. She's so strong. And that was her first face-to-camera address to the nation, like a Queen. And to be doing that while you're feeling at your absolute worst, frail, weak, you know... Don't you think you, she's you, a therapy. Yeah, you would have thought her first face-to-camera, one would have hoped, would be, you know, a really strong, sort of regal moment for her. But actually, in a way, she was stronger than ever. And I thought it was her best camera performance because we know she struggles a little bit to speak in front of the camera. She, she gets very nervous at audiences. But actually, that was her strongest. It's almost like having this sort of near-death experience, which cancer is for everyone, yeah. you know, has made her so strong uh, to, to do public addresses because she probably thinks, hell, what have I got to lose, you know? What do you think this will mean for young women my age who... Yeah. for whom think that cancer is unlikely, which is true, but might avoid going to get that checkup yeah. at the hospital because, never you know... Never avoid that. Man no. or woman, let me tell no. you, never, never, never Do you avoid think that. that with both her and Charles mm. being open about a cancer diagnosis, it will. will increase people's likelihood of actually going to get that thing checked at the GP? Definitely, and I think that was p part of her motivation, for sure. And um, we know that uh, William had that close connection with Bow Babe, and she'll yeah. definitely be thinking, look, there's, this is not something I want to do, but I guess... If I at least do this address the nation, tell them in detail what's what's wrong with me, and and tell people that you can be forty two and you're not too young to have, have cancer. cancer. Somebody told me once, and, and and not on the same scale, but the late great Jay Goody, and people can laugh when mm. she was so open about cervical Save my cancer. Life. Mm. Right, well, well, I, I went and had a smear test early, yeah. and, and, and they caught yeah, early stage. Yeah. And, 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 and 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 I'm not being disrespectful to Jay Goody because the message she was great, she was what she was. But Catherine, I think that message is massive yeah. from her and, and King. I'm going to get a test after this. Are you? Are you yeah, really? I'm going to go get the Randox full health check. Oh, I've got three you. kids. I'm not 40 yet, but pretty close to it, sadly. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a full health check good at 9.30am this morning. Good Amazing. For good for you. Charlotte Thank Griffiths you so from The Mail on Sunday. Us. Thank you very much, Adisa.